Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Phoenix Draconis. I know it's been a while since I've done a video review, but I am back and I'm crazier than ever. But today we are reviewing two of the Studio Series Transformers. Studio Series Optimus Prime from Revenge of the Fallen and Studio Series Starscream from the first live action Transformers movie. Now, based off of the figures that we are seeing, I mean, the color schemes are a lot darker, a little bit more richer, and more show, more I should say, more movie accurate. Now, in this case, as you can tell here, you know, there's a little bit of, let's see if I can try and focus, focus, there we go, there's a little bit more detail on here, I'll try and focus on that again. So excuse the glare, they're still in the packaging. And you can tell there's more details here and there. Now that's for Starscream. Now we're gonna go ahead and review the box there. Come on, there you go. See, some good artwork on there. Starscream on the side, Studio Series, number six. Uh, more artwork on Starscream. Uh, of course, they had an Autobot logo. Honestly, it should have been a Decepticon, but hey, I'm um, just the consumer here and then of course you have the product shots with uh, the other series numbers of, uh, of Bumblebee and uh, Stinger and of course Optimus now of course you got a nice little synopsis big screen inspired detail and then of course Starscream Mission City Battle now I have seen other video reviews of these figures and uh, inside the box is a diorama with the actual uh, scene for the movie. So we went ahead and you know uh, checked out Starscream. Let's go ahead and check out Optimus. So as you can tell, I'm going to try and zoom in on there. We've got some nice little detail of his face. He's got his face mask on. So, good molded details on there. We have a picture of him again. Studio series. Studio series number five. A little more artwork this time with the right uh, faction symbol. Again, another uh, product shots. Uh, forest fight, which is the scene from Revenge of the Fallen. Was it Revenge of the Fallen? Yes, Revenge of the Fallen. And then, of course, you know the other other figures. So, I'm going to go ahead and take these out of the box, and then we're going to review the figures. All right, people. So. Here they are with the dioramas, each of them depicting that, uh, that uh, with Optimus, the forest scene from Revenge of the Fallen, and of course from the first Transformers movie in uh, Mission City, where Starscream is wrecking havoc, you know, shooting down jet fighters, and you know, along with him and his Decepticon cohorts. Now, as you can see, you know, it's great for display. You can pose them in any way, shape, or form, just as I have here. Uh, you know, and as I mentioned earlier, you know, there is a lot of good details, a lot of good articulation with these figures. I'm going to go ahead and bring Starscream up. And as you can tell, there's good range of motion. There's some bicep swivel, a bend. Uh, again, you got the little weapon that can come off, put the hand again. The hand is on a type of ball joint, but also on a swivel for, you know, transformation purposes as well as with putting on the weapon. Now, I have seen pictures of Starscream here with the little saw blade. And again, probably from Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, you know, but it's not on this one. But again, let's go ahead and continue with the range of motion. He does turn his head around 360. No up and down, no wiggly waggly, as Imgo is normally saying. Uh, he, 
because he's got that little, you know, unusual, you know, chicken bend here, you know, he can do a side kick, front, he does go up and down, but again, it, it all depends on, you know, how you want to pose him and such. And as you can tell, you know, got a lot of molded detail, some really good paint applications, some various shades of gray. Um, and again, there is, you know, some go detailing in certain areas. Now, I really wish, you know, that this canopy could open up and if you can find an old die clone figure, you can probably be able to go ahead and put that little thing. Now, for those of you who don't know what die clone is, I'm pretty sure for the, you know, you already have learned, but die clone was the toy line that basically predated Transformers. And uh, when all this uh, first started out, you know, but again, the figures were not as detailed or intricate as they are now for the live action movie. But uh, again, it's a lot of good detailing, some really good molding in the back, you know, so forth and so on. This little thing goes up and into the back. Uh, the hands again, good 360 degrees, good range of motion. So, there we go. So, other than that, let's go ahead and transform so I'm going to switch the camera around so I can actually keep this figure in front. Alrighty, so here we have Star Skadim and in all his treacherous glory. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove his weapon here, put his hand like so, and we're going to go ahead and proceed with transformation. So Put the hands here. Put now you gotta go ahead and put the feet or the toes down like so. Now, if anyone has ever uh, has not noticed yet, and I'm gonna try and put this there. Come on. All right. So I'm gonna try and illustrate this. So there is a tab right here where my finger is at. And there is a slot right here on the on the upper calf, so or thigh. So we're gonna go ahead and tap that in there. We're gonna do the same with the first, and we're gonna go ahead and tap that there. Now let's see here. Now we're gonna go ahead and move his crotch piece open, and you see his nose cone. Don't think anything perverted. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and. Here, whoop! I hate it when that happens. Okay. Oh. So luckily for me, these are all able to snap back on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and snap these off to the side. We are gonna go ahead and try to. All right, we're gonna move this back piece here. I'm going to try and go ahead and move the camera down just a bit, like so. It would help to unlatch. There we go. That way, at the very least, we keep Starscream in focus because I'm always out of the way. So we're going to move the hand here or the back piece. And go ahead and move the wings out like so. And there we go. So we're going to go ahead and move the wings. Okay, so we're going to try and... Oh, hang on a sec. There we go. So... All right, now I'm gonna try and try and put all this together. There we go. Well, 
the the first or the second? Okay, trying to go ahead and get this head pass. Uh. There we go. All right, finally. So we're going to go ahead and clip that. We had to go ahead and do this. So we had to go ahead and move the head back a bit, put it through that little hole here. So there we go, like so. Snap the back panel here. Now, now we're going to go ahead and close this part here over the head and snap it like so. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and move these items. Yeah. I don't mind opening these because um, guys want eagles loose also. Yeah. There we go. So we gotta move the legs in. So can you see? There we go. So we gotta turn them in. I'm gonna try and slide them in like so. I'm gonna do the same with ass the first. Now. Don't know if you notice. Again, tab, slot. Snap that there. And we're going to pull the landing gear down like so. So there you see the landing gear. You got to move it down. Now, before we do anything further, we gotta go ahead and we gotta go ahead and pull pull the hands in. So there we go. Okay, so now that we got. <laughs> so here we go right here now I am doing the video review at the store so you're gonna hear a lot of background noise so like before I'm gonna go ahead and like so now have to move the hands down onto the tab. So we gotta turn this around. There we go, like so. All right. So now there we go, just like we did before. Snap that in there, and pull the wings up. And we're going to slide the front landing gear down like so. And here we have Starscream. Uh -huh. You know, oh, I almost forgot. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so, just let me know then, man. What about uh, Kavikuruza? Here we have Starscream in his jet mode. And it Dude, I'll, is I'll awesome looking. <laughs> Now, you do see a lot of robot kibble underneath, but, you know, unless he's flying overhead you, most of the time, most people will have it like so. Now, I kind of wish I had, like, a type of figure stand so I can go ahead and have them, you know, in flight mode like so, and just have them like that. You know? So... 
Yeah, I have to admit. Now, I have seen the IDW comic, uh, some of the earlier IDW comics that have this Raptor mode, but in his robot mode, they kind of have him um, uh, looking like he did OG 1 ish style. Okay. So, if there's a third party company that actually, you know, well, no, I think they do. There is a third party company that had created those. Uh, so, I'll have to look into that, but it's probably going to be a little bit pricey and out of my, you know, price range here. So, uh, but all in all, this, this is not bad. Some really good molded details from, from what you can see here. Uh, and you can actually see but inside right now, the cockpit. I'm not sure if you oh, yeah, yeah. can. I'm gonna try and. And, and um, I mean, I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but it is a good interior cockpit. I just wish it was able to open up. But other than that. Um, and whoop. Uh, well, if you open up this back piece, you're going to see Starscream's head. So, uh, But all in all, it's, it's an awesome looking plane. So I'm going to go ahead and put, oh yeah. And of course, you can probably place uh, this weapon. Let's see. Hmm. You can probably go ahead and place it in one of the tabs underneath. Now again, I kind of wish that they had uh, that saw blade, you know, so that way you have two weapons, one for each hand, and you can place them on either or. But, you know, seeing as how the weapons are normally supposed to come uh, basically out from there, not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and put, extract his landing gear. And I'm going to put him yeah, off to the running. side right here in a landing yeah. position. So now we're going to go ahead and proceed with Optimus Prime. Now, as you can tell, he has some really good range of motion. I'm going to go ahead and just straighten him out just a bit, pull his flaps here. And I'm going to take off his blades. Now, he's got some good Energon axes. Um, you know, his hands does swivel, so it gives him a good range of motion. He's got a bicep swivel, uh, elbow bend at 90 degree. Uh, can turn 360. Uh, his head does go up, down just a little bit. Uh, can, well, doesn't really go 360. Uh, he can turn left and right if you lift his chin up. So he's got that, that Jay Lindo chin syndrome. Uh, so, and we all remember when Jane Leno went to South Park and his chin killed Kenny. So, you know, uh, I think the same thing will happen here. But, you know, like I said, uh, got the, you know, uh, can kick off to the side, can bend at the knee, can bend at the, uh, can bend at the, uh, the foot or the ankle. He does have an ankle tilt. For some good uh, posability as a matter of fact I have uh, it does have some pegs in the back so what you can probably do if you have a figure stand or like a Figma figure stand you can put them in some really good action poses I think I have seen a couple of, uh, of photos online where Optimus is doing like a flying kick and uh, yeah, he's just looking off to the side you know and then it's like yeah. So, it's a, it's a, it's not a bad looking figure. Um, it's got some really dark color applications, dark reds, dark uh, blues, a lot of gray, uh, really dark grays around his chest area. It's got some clear plastic to show the windows and such, and of course some um, uh, some clear yellow uh, plastic to you know for the energon axis so and of course you got the i'm gonna try and focus focus yeah. 
Well, because, you know. Yeah, because. There you go. So there is. There's the little. Okay, so as you can tell from the from the reflection, he does have some Cybertronian lettering on his battle axis, and they can remove. Uh, you would have to go ahead and put him, put the axis with him holding them from underneath, because if you did them from the top, well, let's go ahead and illustrate that, shall we? Yes. Or as uh, Beast Megatron would do it in his style. Yes. And it doesn't really hold too well uh, over fist. Uh, yeah, it doesn't hold too well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that off to the side. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the transformation. So we're going to go ahead and see about first things first, putting the tires down. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. And let's see here. Now his buddy is so fond of telling me that it's a great accomplishment to be able to go ahead and transform a figure without instructions. <laughs> so he's, he's, he's just, you know, they're like, mm-hmm. So, okay, so uh, let's see here. I'm going to try and yeah, see about getting that taken care of. And uh, try and remember how this went about because uh, it doesn't look like that is going to happen. So, okay, so we're going to go ahead and untab the uh the arms right there so that way this can be able to now there are a couple of tabs and slots in the windows so you can be able to move them together and we're going to try and put that like so and And we're gonna move the hands up like so. Now, we're gonna do the same as with the first. Now, the forearms, there is a little hinge right here, if you can see it because of my big ass fingers. And we're gonna move that forward. And we're gonna move the hand like so. Don't mind me. I'm going to try and see if I can. There we go. I think I got it. Hope I got it. Do I have it? Okay. So, I think we got it here. Or maybe not. Okay, so there is... I'm missing something here. So, I'm going to try that again. And... Okay, so not sure if anyone noticed, but there is a tab. I mean, a tab right here. There's a slot underneath this tab, and there's a slot above this tab. So we're gonna tab these together. And I'm gonna try and get this front portion going here. Now, we're going to go ahead and move these pieces up front. There we go. Now we got to go ahead and do like we did before. We're going to have to go ahead and untab this portion here. I'm going to slip that around. Now, I 
yeah, we're, I'm going to go ahead and turn you more towards me because apparently I'm not getting this all together here. Go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and turn this head. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move these. We're gonna move these uh, tanks right here off to the side. We're gonna unhook this back piece here, like so. I'm going to go ahead and turn the head inside out or outside in, and. Come on. And... Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. So let's see here. Now, I'm still having some problems with trying to go ahead and get this thing to hook up like it should I'm not sure exactly what I am doing wrong okay I think I got that part I'm still trying to figure this out, people. So. There we go. There we go, okay. So, there is a tab over here to bring this portion out. And we still have yet to continue here. Hopefully you guys are able to see all this because I'm trying to go ahead and keep everything in view. I forgot something about the legs. We need to go ahead and move move these thighs inside out like so. There we go. And let's snap these puppies in. Ta -da. So we finally got the legs. Hooray for legs. Again, I'm still trying to get this to piece in together. Okay, almost forgot about this. So these panels that make up his back, they need to be folded in. So, and of course, I do the same on this side. Alright, so 
what? Oh, silly me. Okay, we have to untab his crotch. Alrighty, so, oh, damn it. Come on. There we go. Okay. Sooner or later, I was going to go ahead and get everything all tabbed up. There we go. And, okay. So. Slowly but surely. So, still trying to tab these together so they'll stay flushed. All right, so apparently, keep on forgetting shit, but I am finding that as we go along. I'll take these damn glasses off here. Okay, so. Here we have, so we're gonna go ahead and move this wheel alignment out of the leg and move it this way. That will give us the clearance because there is a tab right there, there's a slot right there. And there we go, yay. We're gonna do the same with the other leg and put the tab. Now, oops. Now we're getting somewhere. We're cooking with Energon. Alrighty. Yay. Now, the only part I'm having problems with is the freaking arms. What is going on here? So. See? And this is where I'm having problems, people. Come on. See, this is where we're running into the problem. So I'm wondering if it's got to be... What am I missing? What am I missing? Hey, I hurt myself. <laughs> okay, I, I think I finally got it. Let's see. No, I did not. Damn you. Right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn you. What the hell's going on? Nope, that's oh, not going to okay. work. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try and 
see what the hell am I doing wrong. So, move these. Goodness. Okay. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna have to take off my uh, my hoodie because it's getting warm in here. Okay. So. Oh, the show, uh, Bobby. Okay. Yeah. Jeffy says pretty good. Agitate how hard her hair is. How oh, hard? Yeah, like hard plastic. Oh. Okay. Right, so let's see here. Oh, looks like I finally got it. Damn. Oh, okay, people. Sorry about the long wait. There we go. Okay, so looks like we had to go ahead and bend the arms in. There is a tab. And let's see if we can try and snap everything back in place. And try and snap everything. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, so. Go ahead and move yeah. this. Uh, come on, come on, you rat bastard, get in there. Okay, so we got one in there. Now we gotta get the other. Now, there is a tab right here that fits into this slot right there. Uh, it's just a matter of just getting that in there. Dude, it's perfect though, right? The edge. The Come on, you rat bastard, get in there. This one on this end instead. As you can tell, you know, we're literally fighting with the damn thing. No wonder a lot of us older people enjoy the G1 on stuff. There we go. Okay. Now let's go ahead and try the other side. Try and get that in there. There we go. All right. Finally, royal pain in the ass this has been. But, okay, it is what it is. Alright, so, now these shoulder pads, they need to be moved in like so, so it gives clearance for the wheels. And, of course, got the little tabs that go into the slots. Oh, there we go. The tabs got to go into the slots right there. And make 
sure, damn you, make sure everything is flushed. Come on. Damn it. Okay, so we finally got it down. Ugh. Yes, it was a royal pain in the ass to get this to get this together in vehicle mode. Uh, yeah, the thing is supposed to be like that up front. There we go. Like so. Okay. So, all in all, it's not so bad. I mean, it's a good vehicle mode. Does roll, kind of. I guess it's just a matter of just making sure everything is on there properly and evenly. Um, I mean, it's not bad, you know, for the figure. It's more scaled down, and I have seen video reviews of this along with, uh, you know, Studio Series Grimlock, which I'm hoping to find. So I can go ahead and at the very least replay that one scene of Optimus riding Grimlock. Now, if they do do a Studio Series of Optimus Prime from Age of Extinction, that would even be a better vehicle mode, hopefully. But, uh... Not too bad, a lot of good detail in here, as you can tell. Um, you, know, you can still see his feet, but it does give potential for a trailer to be hooked up if a third party has already created one for this variation here. Uh, now these are, I think these are legend class figures, but um, you know, not too bad. Um, but other than that, you know, they're not bad looking vehicles, um, you know, you know, if I had the funds, I'd buy them myself. But other than that, um, other than that, uh, there they are, you know, Optimus as well as Starscream. I'll go ahead and zoom in. Oh, okay. Well, so, as you can tell. <laughs> Uh, but he's entertaining himself over yonder. Uh, yeah, no, when you have, when you're in a store with nothing but, you know, nothing but cool figures and toys, you're going to entertain yourself with what's available. So, uh, but all in all, it's not bad. I think, uh, I'm not sure how much money he sells the, the studio class figures here. I do know that they, that, I think I saw them over at Walmart at one point. I don't didn't see them now, but uh, um, like I said, you know. Uh, but he does have a couple of uh, Studio Series figures. Um, just come into the store, tell them that uh, Phoenix Draconis sent you or mentioned the video, and he'll give you a percentage off of whatever you purchase. Um, now. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, concerns, suggestions as to what you want to see on this channel, just go ahead and put a, you know, you know, put a comment down below. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like the video. I am going to be putting down um, a link to Buddy's Facebook page, uh, and also there's going to be a link to this video on his Facebook page as well. So. Um, Either way, um, this is this is Phoenix Draconis introducing the Studio Series of of uh, Optimus Prime from Revenge of the Fallen and Starscream from the first Transformers live action movie. So, so uh, look to catch you later on the flip side.
Peace.